Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the book of Esther, a beautiful book, a book about the providence of God. And God shows uh, uh, His providence, His control of everything in the whole world. And here we see the story, the story that uh, he, he shows his providence through the, the, uh, the, the pride of the king, the rebellions of the, the, the queen, the, 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 the wise men, the counselors, and the, and the counsel that he gives. And then he set up the Miss Universe. The whole thing, he's, he's, set up, he's, he's preparing things before the problem comes. He is preparing the solution the salvation and it's it's great it's great to see god working god god working and uh, and it's a beautiful book and i'd like to encourage you to read the book it's a beautiful beautiful book and before i read the verse for today well, i'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel so we can uh, continue to bless you and bless other people. The verse for today is chapter 2, verse 9. Chapter 2, verse 9. Look at this. Look here. The girl pleased him and won his favor. Immediately he provided her with her beauty treatments and special food. He assigned to her seven maids selected from the king's palace and moved her and her maids into the best place in the harem. He's talking here about Haggai or Hegai, Hegai. I hope this is how he pronounced his name. But he was in charge of the harem, the place with all the women's uh, and the concubines and uh, of the king. And they were selecting. They were selecting. And 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 and, and Esther became uh, the queen. And uh, she is about to become a queen, and, and he prepared the whole thing for her. The guy, the supervisor of the harem, he liked her, and he took care of her. Again, we see the providence of God in every step of the way. The king, this. Uh, pride, the queen rebellion, the council of the wise men, the Miss Universal. Let's speak. Let's open the options to the whole world. And now a Jewish girl. They didn't know that she was Jewish, but now a Jewish girl is going to participate, and he and she finds favor with the main guy that will prepare the girls and take care of the girls. God is putting all the pieces together. God is seeing that the problem is coming. We don't know right now. We don't know the problem. We're going to see that next week. But we don't know right now the problem. But it's coming. And God is already working. And He's using even the guy in the charge of the harem, the guy that is uh, used to coordinate, protect all the women, and he said, okay, this girl here, I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to take care of her better than I take care of anybody else in this place. I'm going to give her the best that she can have here. That is God working through everybody, from the, from the king to the servant, passing through the wise man, the queen, everybody, all the way to the servant. God is preparing the whole thing for Esther, not only to have a, a shot, to have a chance, but to become a queen and to make something, to make a difference in the favor of God's people. It's, it's the whole work going on. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. 
sometimes people outside our lives. They treat us in a way, open certain doors that we're not expecting. It's God working through them. They, they're not believers. They don't go to church. They Maybe they even don't believe anything. They are, and, but God is using them, nonetheless, to help you, to help me, to advance the kingdom. And it's a great news, great news for all of us. The providence of God working, working for each one of us, for his people, for his kingdom. And this is our snack for today. God bless you. <laughs>